Hi everyone, welcome to Naturally Gated. My name is Jennifer Klitsky and meet Marvel. He's been at our place for four weeks now and he is a three-year-old Tennessee walking horse, spotted saddle horse, as you can probably tell. And he came to my place pretty much a clean slate. So I'm really, really excited about this next chapter of Naturally Gated. Now he comes when I call him and I get the halter on him. And he stands in the cross ties now. And he stands on this rubber mat. He comes into the barn, he goes in his stall. All that was new to him. And he's acclimated to our herd. And we've been in the round pen. We've done, we don't have a gate, so we've been doing some lunging. And I introduced the bit, the bridle, to him. So we've been using a Mullen Happy Mouth Full Cheek Snapple. He really likes this bit, don't you? You like this bit, don't you? You like it. You just like it, don't you? Yeah, he bridles himself. <laughs> he likes this bit a lot, which is really nice. So today we're gonna introduce the saddle. Do you like this idea? Here, let's just touch you. Oh, dude, look at that. So I've been working him on both directions, touching him on both sides. This is just a saddle. It doesn't weigh very much. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna lick on it. Okay. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. We don't want it. We don't want to scare it at all. That is not what we're trying to do here, right? Okay. Can I put this on your neck? Oh, what a good boy. Are you okay? Yes, you good boy. How you doing? You doing okay with that? Doesn't weigh very much. Do you want me to take it off? I can. Take it off again, huh? You did that good. Good too. Yeah, that was good. You did that good. So with everything that we do, we introduce things slowly and we want to have, we want to foster a sense of relaxation in everything we do so that when there's distractions, when there's scary things that happen around us, we just keep asking for relaxation. So that, you know, we can't control our environment around us, we can't control the wind, we can't control what's blowing around, we can't control what the neighbors are doing, we can't control these things. So what we can control is I can control myself and I can try to do my best to direct him into a place of relaxation in his mind, and in his body. Yes. Cookies help them relax because they're chewing, they're relaxing, they're tasting, they're swallowing, all those things help them relax. So this helps them relax. If you can get them to lower their head and neck, that helps too. So relaxation is good. So you use as many tips and keys as you have to help them be relaxed, right? You're doing so good. Yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah, good job. Good job. Oh, what's the matter, baby? Yeah, let me put this here. You're doing so good. Oh, it's, all, it's okay. Good job. Look at you, you big boy. Look at you, you big boy. Good job. Look at you. Look at you. Good job. You want a cookie? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's put this up on the side too, huh? Oh, it's okay. Yes, he's very narrow, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, it's a cookie. Yeah, it's a cookie. It's a cookie. You're doing a good job. Yeah, okay. All right, so, do you want this? Hmm? Do you want to smell that? Yes, what is this? It's a girth. It's a girth. It's a girth. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Good job, buddy. Never had a saddle on his back. So everything is new to this guy, right? Everything's new. That's all I know. Everything's new. So I'm gonna put it on the bottom because I don't know how big he is. I don't think his girth is very big. It's a lot smaller than ladies for sure. <laughs> right? Yes. It's very, very small compared, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm just gonna touch him underneath. Oh, what does that feel like, huh? Does that feel funny, huh? 
Is that feel funny? Yes, oh, it feels funny. It feels so funny, right? What do you think, are you gonna hold your breath? You gonna hold your breath, huh? Gonna hold your breath? Yeah, I'm just putting my finger in his mouth. Yes, a baby, good boy. Yes, good, yes, good. Yes, just gotta keep, keep him chewing is good because that helps the relaxation. So I didn't, I didn't tighten it yet. Focus on his mom, right? That's a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. You want cookie? Get your cookie. Get your cookie for the boy. Here, mess, right? Yeah. We don't want you. I want you to feel confined. Yeah, because that's confining enough having that on you, right? Third day lunging. First day I lunged him with just the halter. Second day I added the bridle and the halter. Today we added the saddle. I did not add the bridle and the saddle, just the saddle, because we've never had a saddle on before. So we're gonna take it really slow. Relaxation is the key. Started a walk, and then from a relaxed walk, we'll increase the tempo and see where we go. already at the rail, staying at the rail. I'm in the center, loose, floppy. He's not bolting through that gap. He's staying at a relaxed walk, beautiful walk. Good boy. Good dog. I liked how relaxed he was at the walk. I like the stride length. That was very nice. I liked that he lowered his head and neck. He was very relaxed. He was chewing. That was very good. He didn't blast off. And what was really telling is when we were walking alongside each other, he's very, he's confident that way because he is, he feels good next to me. When I back off and go towards the center, and ask him to stay along the rail, that's when he starts getting insecure. But he was very confident in that today, and he stayed along the rail, and I liked that a lot. It took, you know, it took a little work on the first day when we tried that, but towards the end of the first session, he was doing that, but he was doing that at a trot. I couldn't get him to do that at a walk. Today, he did that at a walk all, already, and he's doing that with a saddle on his back, so I love that. Now, we'll see what happens if he trots or canters. Yes, good boy. Good boy, yes.
Look at you, buddy. Yes. Always a good boy. He's uh, very reluctant to go this direction, so we will just take it a step at a time. It's easier to go slow in a smaller circle. It's harder on the horse, but it's easier to um, control them if they get out of hand. So I don't do a lot of small circles in a row. I just do a couple. The goal is to get them relaxed and then increase the size of the circle because, you know, drilling them on a small circle is not a good idea. It's hard on their body hard on their joints, especially when they're growing like he is. So I don't want to keep doing that. The only reason I did that was because first he was not wanting to go that direction. So I was directing him to go that way. And when I asked him to go, he didn't want to go. So he was pushing me with his shoulder and then he was backing. So I was asking him to go forward and he was kind of exploding forward and I didn't want him to explode. So that was my one way to control him from exploding was a small circle. So I was maintaining the tempo in a small circle and then stopping him when he did well. So rewarding every small thing. That's the most important thing. And keeping things interesting. Because every day we add something new to his training. Right? Don't do that. You don't want to do that, right? Yeah, we don't want to be a pest. He likes to get in my face a little bit too much. Right? You're very friendly though, aren't you? Yes, you are. Don't get too pushy. I don't like pushy. I don't mind being kind, but don't be pushy, right? Yes, licking is fine. Kisses are fine, but don't get my face, right?
Well, that's Marvel and Jennifer Klitsky, NaturallyGated.com, signing off for today. Week four, saddle training, day one. <laughs>